r slash ask reddit what is most useless item you carry with you all the time stamp card for a cafe whose food gave me diarrhea oh man that's not just useless it's insulting you to boot my wallet the duck is my broke ass gonna do buy something i chuckled i'm sad that this gold don't go in your wallet but have it anyway a two dollar bill that i'm never going to spend they're not even rare it just looks cool i carry one of these too my grandpa gave it to me before he passed away my wallet was stolen about a year and a half ago and then somehow miraculously found and returned to me with the two dollar bill still inside i also have a single two dollars bill i will never use it was given to me by my great grandfather because he thought they were so neat he passed not long after guitar pick i don't play guitar but hey one time you may be at a party when some guy is about to play the guitar and can't find his pick and so you give it to them and anyway here's wonderwall hey does anyone have a pick i said maybe you're gonna be the one that saves me one pokemon card sharpedo my son told me he was the best and to keep the card with me in case i ever needed to battle so i keep it in my pocket at all times tiny black light on my keychain no legitimate use for it whatsoever hey you never know when you might want to randomly identify minerals or be horrified at the black light responsive stains in public places or hotel rooms hey if you're in a desert place you can look for scorpions i joined the navy 10 years ago and we were all told about the tradition of challenge coins and why you carry them basically you carry a coin and in the event of a night at the bar getting a shit tasking etc you can pull out your coin and whoever doesn't have one has the lowest rank one gets shit on has to do the task pays the tab whatever well 10 years and i have never actually pulled my coin nor has anyone else ever pulled coins on me so i carry a heavy as shit secretary of defense coin in my wallet looking for all the world like a dumb 15 year old with a condom in my wallet because it is a round protrusion in the leather for no damn reason but i also am terrified of the day i do get challenged and don't have it and have to pay a 300 dollar bar tab i have a small collection of them now after 20 year of service but the one i keep on me is a us secret service coin as a canadian soldier it has yet to be trumped by any other coin at any mess i have been at still have the key to my old office on my keychain i haven't worked there in three years and will never be back it's a really big key that tends to get in the way i might get rid of it one of these days but probably won't why are you so sure you'll never go back there a different company leases the building now and likely change all the locks the starter key to a 1960s swiss made cog wheel train that can climb up pike's peak i know your comment got buried but can I hear the story behind this? Edit. Okay then. Never mind it being buried. But that is awesome. The key to the home I grew up in. I was so proud when they gave me a key to the house in 7th grade so I could let myself in whenever I needed to. They changed the locks years ago. So this key is now completely useless. But I can't bring myself to take that key off of my key ring. I will always carry it to remind myself of my family. Get your locks keyed to the old key once you have your own little family. This is the lock picking lawyer. Today we have a lock that was re-keyed to fit a worn out sklidge key from 1998. I'm going to show you how to defeat this lock in 3 seconds with a bubblegum wrapper. A straw wrapper my husband gave me once and jokingly told me never to lose. It's been 4 years and I haven't yet. Does it spit some good rhymes? I gave my boyfriend a fortune from a cookie about 5 years ago. Three wallets later it's still being carried by him. I gave it to him when we first started dating it's really sweet. The real question is how has he gone through three wallets in five years? My family sucks at gifts and has gifted him several wallets over that last few years on my own. A plastic snail that I found in my school parking lot. His name is Aaron. And Aaron lives in my bassoon case. He has played with me all over the country. I set him on my stand during concerts. He's very well behaved, and never interrupts the concert. Weird rocks. Every single bag I have has at least two in them edit. Wow you'll really like rocks. Hello weird rock sibling. 
My husband gets so mad at me when he does laundry and one starts clunking around in the dryer why was there a rock in your pocket? Yes, my daughter picked up this habit too and our collection is growing rapidly lol. It's just a nice, free way to have a souvenir of a great time or a cool zero lace, or just because. When I was in Arizona two years ago I bought a metal spider sculpture off of an old man outside a dinghy side of the road Wild West Traveler's Stop. As a receipt he gave me a wallet size printed picture of him sitting proudly atop a horse, with a big white cowboy hat and he signed the back and wrote the dollar amount. I still have his picture in my wallet today. Yours is def one of my fave. I would have kept it too. You both sound like pretty cool dudes. Did he give a story for the picture or was it just a total surprise when you paid? Either way, I love it. Thanks. He was great. Super funny and chipper and excited about his craft. I think that was just his standard sales procedure. It definitely cracked me up. I'm actually a woman and I remember when he gave it to me telling him I always wanted a man's picture to keep in my purse and he blushed haha. I guess I wasn't lying. Those loyalty cards that were forced on me when I was unable to refuse and I still keep in my wallet but deep down I know I'm never really going to use. House key. My lock is electronic. I carry a rock shaped like an egg. I found it after my son died I always called him my best egg. That's not useless at all. I carry my Sarah stone. Found it on the lakefront of Lake Michigan where I went to cry when she passed. A compact mirror in my purse. I use my phone's camera when I need a mirror. My phone camera says duck you shrek looking ass. So I have to use a mirror. Those don't break as easy as my phone. My parking pass for the hospital the day that my daughter was born. Appendix. Like seriously. Just take it and let me have two weeks off work please. My biggest fear is my appendix bursting because I've heard it hurts so much. Yes it will hurt like hell. But it will give you enough warnings until it just gives you the finger and kills itself. That appendix man. My daughter's stomach is on the wrong side of her body. So at 3m old she had to have surgery correcting a malrotation of her small intestine. The surgeon. Nicest. Smartest doc I've ever met. Was like let's do an appendectomy while we're there. It's also in the wrong place. And there's a 10% chance she'll need it removed anyways. Might as well pull it while we know where it is. Best surgical freebie ever. That's potentially a lifesaver for her, because if she ever did develop appendicitis she'd be easily misdiagnosed because the pain would be on the wrong side. I still carry my Blockbuster account card in my wallet. For your information where I am from they closed down around 10 years ago but you never know. For your information all the Blockbusters except one closed down around 10 years ago. My old driver's driver's license. Never took it out of my wallet. I kept my old one in my wallet for the longest time. It was my 17 year old driver's license when I used to have long hair. It was fun to show people. Pointless in the sense it hasn't got a practical use. But a little letter my fiance wrote for me when we were gonna spend time away as I was away for work and she was staying home. I keep it everywhere I go so if I feel low I'll pull it out and give it a cheeky read. I say that's pretty wholesome and sweet. Emotional baggage. I don't carry it with me every day, but I'm a server in a restaurant. One time a kid left this little tiny Optimus Prime figure on the table. I went to bust the table and saw the little figure. Threw it in my apron and it's been there almost ever since. That was about 2 years ago. The almost is kind of awesome. 2. One time at work I pulled a check out of my apron and Optimus stealthily took flight. I didn't notice till the end of the shift. Freaking out. I searched the whole entire restaurant. Never found him. Saga over. Until a few weeks later. My co-worker heard me talking about it. I come by on a day off for a drink and he brings me the drink and tells me to follow him. Sitting on top of our bulletin board high on the top right corner. My Optimus Duck I'm Prime. I'm elated and thank him profusely. I come to find out someone on the shift I lost him found it. They didn't keep it or throw it away. They placed him in a pen cup. Someone saw it and moved it to the expo window. Etc. For a few weeks people kept moving it and I never saw it. Until my awesome co-worker heard me talking about it and reunited me with my tiny useless talisman. You a real one. Cam. 
pads. I don't have periods anymore because of a medical issue but I still bring them in case there is anyone that needs them. Have those and hair ties. And you'd be everyone's best friend. I have a coupon. Expired on 2014-6-30-43 yuan off of a large cocoa milk tea with boba from when I visited Suzhou 5 years ago. I live in the US though. This little guy. He just lives in my purse. Oh my god dude I used to collect these little dudes. I still have one sitting on my shelf. I have a key on my keychain that isn't mine. When my sister was in hospice we went to clean out her house and found that key on the end table next to her couch. So we figured it was important. It didn't fit any of the doors or anything we could find in her house. When we asked her what it went to, she was too far gone on pain meds to answer. She died in 2008 but I've still got that key. Just in case I ever run into a lock that it fits. This is some Indian and the cupboard level stuff. Boss. An all purpose tool. It is not particularly good at anything it does. Has a hammer on it that splits into a wire cut as pliers. Compared to a leatherman. Not super helpful to have on hand. It fails as a hammer. As a pliers. As a cutter. Even the knife screwdriver attachments etc that pull out are so bulky that using any of them isn't great compared to say a swiss army knife. I carry a leatherman on hand too. But, it was a gift from daughter slash grandson who find me handy, because I fix stuff for them, so I always have it on me as a memento, as a memento, not useless, always makes me think of the red green show, if they don't find you handsome, they can at least find you handy. A love on memory I bought a month before last Christmas, my crush died the week before Christmas, useless it may be, but it's definitely not worthless, I hope you're doing okay my expired library card from my high school my zippo i haven't smoked in a while but i still carry it with me always good to be prepared i guess popsicle sticks mini 20 sided die for imaginary sudden dnd sessions hairbands i'm a guy with short hair so they are absolutely useless to me however after watching my little sister my mother and past girlfriends slurp up their own hair with their arm in. That shit is never happening in my presence again. Nine times out of ten it's my chapstick. But on the one day I forget to grab it, you can bet my lips will be absurdly chapped for no reason. I carry around a key to a helicopter. The key fits all Apache helicopters. Urine. An ace of spades playing card in my wallet. It's kind of good luck thing for me. Always have an ace up your sleeve, or in your wallet. A pen. Anytime I'm about to leave the house, I put a pen in my pocket. Started doing this about 3 years ago in case of an emergency. My iPhone it's just an expensive alarm clock for me. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price. Bru